What's up, you guys? I have no idea what's wrong with my voice, so please disregard my voice. <laughs> and, um, welcome back to my channel. So I actually wasn't sure if I was going to film this or not, but I did film the first one, and I don't think I've ever uploaded that, which I might, um, insert like a clip in here of the video or something, but. Um, it is con season, and I'm really excited it's con season. The convention I usually go to, which a lot of us could call ASIN, which is short for Anime Central, is cancelled again this year because of the Rona. So, there's another one that we never go to, but it's at the same convention center. Um, and it's called Anime Midwest, and it's in July, the weekend of the 4th. Um, wasn't sure if we were going to do all three days or not, but... Um, now we decided that we're just going to do one day, since we have a trip planned for Tennessee, which I might film some of, in August. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to think about things. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. And hopefully by the time you guys see this video... All my other videos, as far as the rendering issue I've been having with my editing software, which I want to strangle, have been resolved. Um, I got a new software, so working it out. But hopefully by the time you guys see this video, the rendering issue is, is not an issue anymore. Um, so, yeah, but... I... My costume... This, this, is, this box I'm opening, which is kind of big, is for my costume. But I'm going to work for the convention. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. I don't want to give away too, too much. Because I want to be surprised. Um, all I'm going to say is. I'm doing female Jack Skellington. And I've never seen anybody do it with a. Um, with the prop that I'm going to use. I almost gave it away. With the prop I'm going to use. So. Um, I'm really excited to open this box. I've been waiting for this box. It came a day late. It was actually supposed to be here yesterday. But the guy that was delivering it to the facility that was going to deliver it to um, the people that were going to drive it out to me brought the package to the warehouse, that first warehouse, late. So, I thought it was coming yesterday and eBay told me like, no, it won't be here until Friday. I'm just like, really? It's supposed to be here today. First, it says it's going to be here by yesterday, but it, it just never showed up. But anyway, also, if you hear something, that's, uh, I believe, my stepdad cutting the grass. That probably won't show up in the video. That probably, the sound probably won't show up in the video. I don't know. Sometimes my phone's weird when it comes to stuff showing up or not showing up. Um, but, yeah, let's just, um, get to this video. Okay, so the box is kind of what I can show you. It's pretty tall. Look at that. So I'm going to have to cut it. I'm not going to put it on my lap and open it. I'm going to have to open it, um, standing up. Well, not me standing up, but the box standing up. So, I'm just going to turn the thing down. So you guys can see. I'm just going to start. <clears throat> there goes my voice again. I don't know why it's going out. Don't know if I'm sick or what, but let's just open this box. <laughs> Get it out. Uh, oh. Wait. This would be so much easier if the box opened a little bit more, but I don't see it open it anymore. Well, they package this really nicely. 
these little foam things to keep everything safe and on the inside. Whoa. Wow. It's actually not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. Look, wait, let me open it. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have pulled the plastic off and, um, wow. Look how cool this is. Ah, I have a pumpkin head keyblade. And I was worried this, this um, wasn't going to have a chain, but it does. And it's long, like I wanted. It's my Kyrie keyblade, um, which was the first keyblade I ever bought. I think that one was 14 This one was 45 and free shipping, but they charged me still the same 5 bucks for tax on eBay when I bought this one. I bought my Kyrie Keyblade from Amazon. It came in a ridiculously huge box, so I'm glad that this one didn't come in a gigantic box. But the box was kind of tall, you know, um, especially for what I, got sh what I showed you guys. So I might do some touch-up painting on this thing. Um, on the back, mostly, but other than that, it's perfect. Like, Jack's head's on here, and it has his little fat bow tie wings around it. Um, and they go all the way down, and of course that, and then here's the little chain. I think the other one actually has a stem at the top, but this one's still cool. Like, I still, he's still really cute. Like, look at that. Um, and then here's this part here. Wow. Look at that. I love this. Like a type of demon or something. Um, it kind of looks like, uh, I forget his name, but they call, I forget his actual, like, name, but they, I know they call him, like, Goatman or something. It kind of looks like, it's like a gargoyle or something like that. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to put some, um, maybe some foam or something on the little these little, like, spiky pieces, because I don't want to be at a convention and, like, accidentally slap somebody and, like, cut their, poke their eye out or something. Um, because there's a lot of the sharp, like, yeah, even down here, there's a lot of sharp pieces. Um, and then if you smack somebody with this, it's going to hurt, because it's metal. Now, the reason why I bought metal, for those of you guys that are probably wondering, why did you buy a metal keyblade? I'm going to tell you why. The reason why I bought a metal pumpkin head keyblade is because the... Foam, wood, and plastic versions of this Keyblade have been sold out since October. Okay? October. And they have not been restocked. I checked everywhere, and I could not find it. Not even Spirit had it. Like, Spirit is completely sold out of this Keyblade in plastic. Um, and the only thing that I could get from either Amazon or eBay, which is the only two, only two places that I knew I can get one of these from, it was metal. Both places. So, and Amazon wanted 58, which would have came out to like 60 something for this. Um, I don't want to pay that. So that, and they were, they were getting bought up. Like everybody's buying this specific keyblade up. Like literally buying it up. Especially since it's con season. Um, hopefully not everybody has the same idea for my costume. But, I mean, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> um... It, that was crazy to me. I was like, I've been, I've been trying to get one of these Keyblades since October. Because I saw it on Spencer's website and I was like, I really want this Keyblade. Oh my god, I didn't know that Jack had one. Now, being the Kingdom Hearts fan that I am, you would think that I would know that Jack gave Sora this Keyblade in Kingdom Hearts. I didn't find out until like last year. Actually, I didn't find out until a couple weeks ago. Not gonna lie. Um, and the reason for that is because... When I was younger, I wasn't, like, we had the games, but I wasn't necessarily allowed to play them after my cousin stole them. She didn't want me and my brother to play, so she, we had to watch her play, which I always thought was stupid and kind of rude. And, yeah, so I've never actually, I've seen playthroughs, but I've never actually played through a game myself, except for Union Cross. And right now I'm doing Recoded on my DS, because I was able to find some of the, Kingdom Hearts games like actually start playing um but yeah so I didn't know <laughs> um but and I did see that clip on YouTube too <clears throat> I have no idea what's wrong with my voice um it just got worse actually um but yeah I didn't know 
But when I saw this keyblade, I wasn't even thinking about that. I just saw Jack and I was like, I want it. <laughs> I want it. Those of you guys that know me, that have been with me for the longest time, know that I love Jack Skellington to pieces. Like, he is my favorite character from Nightmare Before Christmas. I know that some there's some people that have, like, different people as their favorite character. Not everybody likes Jack. Um, or is obsessed with Jack. I'm obsessed with Jack. Like, I have... I have so much Jack memorabilia in here, it's not even funny. Including plushies. I have two of those. One of them was gifted to me for our Miyate's anniversary. Um, I want to say two years ago. Actually, yeah, it was two years ago. He gave me one as a surprise extra gift, which he did not have to do at all um, for our anniversary. He went to the store, saw it, and was like, I can't leave here without it. I actually did a video where I reviewed me opening him and stuff like that, so. But, yeah, I, I'm i obsessed with Jack Skellington. Like, he's my favorite. And to be able to cosplay as him is an absolute honor. I did it last year in a onesie. This year I wanted a different... I actually wasn't going to go as him at first, but I decided to just do it. Um, because I thought it'd be cool to do, like, female Jack Skellington. With a keyblade. <laughs> I've never seen anybody do it, so I wanted to do it. I thought it'd be pretty badass, so here you go. I love that this chain is long. Thank you. Um, I don't remember the seller's name. I'm not going to lie. I'm terrible with names of things and people. Um, but thank you, seller, for this long chain for my keyblade. Because a lot of the other um, chains for keyblades are short. Like my Kyrie keyblade, the chain, the charm chain is kind of short. Um, but I like the fact that this is long. I wanted it longer. Um, I don't mind it longer. If it was, like, the same length as this thing, I'd mind, because it'd probably get tangled up in it, but... This one is a pretty good length, I feel like. And then, this part, if you buy a metal one, this part does come up, so be careful. I didn't know that until I went to touch it, and it started moving, I was like, oh, it's moving. It shouldn't be moving. Why is it moving? Um, yeah, this, this is pretty sick. Like, the black paint job is really good. Um... The stripes are, they need a little bit of work, especially like right here, right there, if you guys can see it up in here. Some of the stuff got scratched, but other than that, this is pretty. I'm really stoked to like wield this at the convention. This is the coolest keyblade ever. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm holding it right now. When I saw the box, I left my phone in Isaiah's car last night. Um, so he just brought me my phone, like, burst through the door, I'm like, wait, who's that? And the box was sitting out there, and I was like, oh, my keyblade. I couldn't wait to open it. So I'm glad I got to open it with you guys. Hopefully you guys will see this video soon. Um, still working on my issues, but I'll be back soon with more videos. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've had so many technological issues since October, you guys don't even understand. <sighs> it's been a struggle, but... I have I have tons of stuff that I can't wait to share with you guys, and I wasn't I actually wasn't supposed to film anything else because I have too much stuff to get done already. But I, I had to. Isn't this is the coolest keyblade ever? Like, isn't this keyblade so freaking cool? I love it. I love it. And again, this cost me forty five on eBay. I'm pretty sure you can still get your hands on one. Um, it cost me forty five on eBay. As cheap as I found it for, other than that, it was like 60 and 80 bucks. Um, and then free shipping, but they charge you. It, it, the, I can't talk. <laughs> free shipping, but eBay charges you um, for, I think it was 484 or 45, which is five bucks for shipping. I mean, for taxes. So free shipping, but you still have to pay the same five bucks, so you would have to pay anyway for tax. Stupid, but I mean, which made me spend 50 bucks. But this this keyboard. Um, my costume was actually the same amount. Honestly, it was like forty five. I don't think, I don't know if I had to pay shipping on it or not. But I bought my costume from Amazon, and then I bought a bag to go with it because I didn't have a bag. I wanted a bag to match this, so I found a little pumpkin bag, which you guys will see when I do my get ready with me for the convention that day. Um, and what else do I? What else did I get? Um. I bought a hat from Amazon as well. I bought pretty much most of my other stuff from Amazon. 
and I have a couple more things I need to get from Amazon, which is white face paint and, um, yeah, white face paint, eyelashes, because, I mean, you got to have dramatic lashes on, especially since your face is going to be white, and then you have the black eyeshadow and stuff on, like, you need eyelashes. I have pretty long eyelashes, but they re they get, like, you can't see them when I wear anything black on my eye, or right above them, so... Um, yeah, gonna do that, and then I'm getting a white mask, which will alleviate me having to paint my whole face, but I mean, since we have to wear them anyway, I figured why not, why not make one that, why not get one that matches? So, this is my first time painting my face white, and the last time I tried painting my fa my whole face, it didn't go very well, because I used a cream-based face paint, so this time I'm getting a professional FX face paint, which I'm gonna test out, um... Maybe this month or next month. I don't know. Whenever I have free time, I'm going to test it out and see if I want to keep that one or if I want to go with something different. Like, it just kind of depends. So, but yeah, I want to show you guys my cute me. I'm so happy. It's so perfect. Some people were complaining on Amazon that their package came broken. Mine was actually really well packaged, which I'm going to make sure I put in the review. It was really well packaged. It had these little foam thingies in it in the box. It was taped really good. I mean, it was a struggle to get it open, but I mean, they taped it really good to make sure that it didn't come, the box didn't come open and it flipped out of there and stuff. Um, it was really well packaged. Not to mention, it had these little foam things in it, and then, like, it, as you guys saw before I cut out and came back, um, it was wrapped in plastic, and then this was in its own little plastic, like, bag thing. This little thing here, and there was a rubber band around it, so it would stay closed, and it wouldn't get damaged. And this was wrapped up. It wasn't, like, long. It was wrapped up. So this was, like, actually up here, kind of. But it came out. It's perfect. I love it. I'm going to paint this a little bit better. I'm going to try to see if I can find the same paint and paint this a little better on the back. And a little bit on the front, because it, it kind of looks like you can see the gray or whatever color this originally was shining through it, which I don't like. So, and I want to gloss it a little more. Um, so I'm gonna stick to this. It's like tape. But yeah, this, this keyboard is awesome, man. I love it. I love it! I love this not- it's pretty- I mean, it, obviously it's metal, so it's gonna have some weight on it up just a little bit, but it's not so heavy that I can't carry it. Or I can't wield it. Like, if I put it up here, it's perfect. Like, no problems. So, which is usually how I like to hold... Well, actually, of course I hold it in here. But, yeah. This is so cool. Oh my god. The Accumulate Wielder is so awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love this. I love this thing. If you can already tell, I love this thing. Now I have two Accumulate. The one I really want is a Sora Keyblade. I've been wanting a Sora Keyblade for like forever. And I, want, I really want one. So that's my next Keyblade. I think I want to start doing more fandom stuff on this channel. I don't do a whole lot. Well, I do some fandom stuff. You guys see me in my outfits and everything. But I want to start doing my... Don't, bleh, can't talk. I want, I want to start doing more fandom related things on this channel. Like this. Because fandom is like where I live. That's like my thing. So. Um, fandom and dancing are my two favorite things in the whole world. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I love this keyway a lot. And if you guys want one, Amazon or eBay. Those are the only two places you're going to find it because anywhere else that you can think of is it's sold out. Um, and like I said, they only have metal. But it's not as heavy as it looks. Like, keyblades generally aren't heavy, in general. Uh, I mean, in the game, it says that they, they are heavy to the characters, but this isn't really heavy to me. I mean, again, it has to weigh on it, but it's not like, oh my god, I can't carry it. Like, I'm holding it with both hands, I'm holding it with one hand now, like, doing this. If you can't do this, you know it's heavy. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing, this mini unboxing video. Um, and 
I will see you guys in my next video, and I can't wait to show you guys my costume tonight. You guys have to wait till July to see my costume. I'm so excited for it. Um, anyway, I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And uh, peace out.